Today we will review the paper Genetic History of an Archaic Hominin Group from the Nisova Cave in Siberia, in nature. Less than 200,000 years ago, anatomically modern humans, that is human with skeletons similar to those of present-day humans, appeared in Africa. At that time, as well as later, when modern humans appeared in Eurasia, other archaic hominins were already present. In Europe and Western Asia, hominins defined as Neanderthals on their basis of their skeletal morphology lived from at least 230,000 years ago before disappearing from the fossil record about 30,000 years ago. Denisova Cave is located in the Altai Mountains in southern Siberia and is a reference site for the middle to upper Paleolithic of the region where systematic excavations over the past 25 years have uncovered cultural layers indicating that human occupation at the site started up to 280,000 years ago. In this cave, a finger phallax bone was found in a layer which has been dated to 50 to 30,000 years ago. This layer contains microblades and body ornaments of polished stones typical of the upper Paleolithic industry, generally thought to be associated with modern humans, but also stone tools that are more characteristic of earlier Middle Paleolithic. So ancient mitochondrial DNA from this small phallax bone was sequenced, and surprisingly the DNA diverged from the common lineage leading to modern human and Neanderthals about one million years ago that is about twice as far back in time as the divergence between Neanderthal and modern human mitochondrial DNAs. To clarify the relationship of the Denisovan individual to other hominin groups, the researchers sequenced the Denisova nuclear genome and analyzed its genomic relationship to Neanderthals and present-day humans. They find that after they diverge from one another, Denisovans and Neanderthals had largely separate population histories. It turns out that Denisovan ancestors did not contribute genes at a detectable level to present-day people of West Eurasia, whereas Neanderthals did contribute to all non-Africans. Thus, Neanderthal at some point interacted with ancestors of present-day Eurasians independently of Denisovans. Furthermore, the genetic diversity of Neanderthals across their geographical range in the last 30 or 40,000 years of their history was extremely low, indicating that they experienced one or more strong genetic bottlenecks, also independently of the Denisovans. Interestingly, it turned out that Denisovans contributed as much as 1 20th of the genome of present-day Melanesians. Australian Aborigines and Papuan. So an interesting question becomes how widespread were Denisovans? A possibility is that they lived in the large parts of East Asia at the time when Neanderthals were present in Europe and Western Asia. This leads us to our second paper, analysis of human sequence data reveals two pulses of archaic Denisovan admixture in cell. This paper investigates the mixing between modern humans and archaic hominids like Neanderthals and Denisovans. Present-day individuals in Eurasia inherit about 2% of their genome from Neanderthals, and as I mentioned, individuals from Australia inherit about 5% of their genome from Denisovans. In this paper, they confirmed previous evidence that not only Melanesians but also Asians carry Denisovan integration. Further, they found evidence for two waves of Denisovan admixture, one from a population closely related to the Altai Denisovan individual and one from a population more distantly related to the Altai Denisovan. The component closely related to the Altai individual is primarily represented in East Asians, whereas the component more distantly related to the sequenced Denisovan from Altai forms the major part of the Denisovan ancestry in Papuans and South Asians. The East Asian populations are the only population with relatively equal and non-negligible contributions from both components. 
and it is in these populations that the two waves of the Nisoran admixture are most evident. By contrast, they did not find evidence of two or more waves of Neanderthal admixture from the diverged Neanderthal populations. The higher rates of Neanderthal integration in, in East Asians relative to Europeans may be due to dilution of Neanderthal admixture in Europeans as a result of migration from a population without Neanderthal admixture. See my video Natufian and the Genomic History of West Asia for more on what that population may be. The Nisoans are interesting as they were discovered by ancient DNA and not through anthropology. And still, there is only one additional find of the Nisoan remains besides the, the Nisova cave, the second being on the Tibetan plateau. So Neanderthal and the Nisovan homonyms had lived in large parts of the Eurasian landmass for hundreds of thousands of years genetically adapting to the climate and microfauna. When modern humans on leaving Africa intermingled with these archaic homonyms living there, they acquired genetic adaptations to that environment from them. One such example is the altitude adaptation in Tibetans caused by integration of Denisovan-like DNA. That is all for today, my friends. The next time I wish you all the best.